Hey there everyone, Vaish here, back again with another video and this is a live video. Uh, so, I hope many of you did watch uh, the last night event. I hope it was night for you. I will be waiting for people to show up. But anyways, I just wanted to share a few thoughts about the latest uh, Mac Pro. Hey Yash, how are you? Hope you're doing good. Hope you're replying to everybody. Uh, so hey, uh, so people have started to show up. If I had money, yes, I will. Uh, yeah, so let's talk about this new gigantic beast from Apple, the Mac Pro, which is the base model is $59.99, which is almost $6,000. So yeah, so $6,000. Yeah, a sudden lie because I wanted to talk about a little bit of this uh, on this recent machine. I don't have much time to go uh, shoot a video and all of that. Are you buying? I'm not pretty sure yet that do I need that kind of a big beast machine. Uh, it's definitely something which is hmm, much more uh, power hungry. <laughs> Are you selling? If you're buying, definitely I can sell with my margin, of course. Is it worth buying? I think for programmers, it's not worth buying it. it until and unless you are making high-end videos, uh, you are not MKBHD, then it's not for you. Uh, for most of us, it's, it's not something that we should or we want to like buy. No Mac is wastage of money because it's not have a GPU. Uh, you need to do a little bit more research, Rohan Joshi. It's having a GPU, but anyways, let's not get into that. Uh, it's definitely a beast machine, but I think most programmers will be super happy with um, iMac. That's the max I think that everybody needs or anybody needs. iOS 13. Um, yeah, we want, I really want to make a course on iOS 13 because so many new things are introduced. App size is reduced so much. And uh, yeah, if money isn't the thing, why not buy such a powerful machine? Uh, yes, of course, if you are making and producing so many videos, it's, it's a good machine. Until unless you are producing any kind of video work or something, I think it's not worth it for programmers. Programmers are pretty happy with the iMac or MacBook Pro. Uh, I don't think so, it's gonna be worth it. Uh, but definitely, uh, if, if I'm still thinking, should I buy it or not? Because I do produce uh, tons of videos and all of that. I just wanted to know your thoughts that uh, if you had the money, would you like to buy it? Like if money is not the constraint. Are you sitting in a cafe? Um, kind of a year I'm sitting in a cafe. It's like a sitting lounge area of Sheraton uh, at Zagreb. It's a pretty beautiful uh, country, Croatia. I will buy it. iPad OS coming. Uh, let's see how good the iPad OS is. I don't have much hopes for it. <laughs> it's it's. It's a little bit overhyped thing. I'm not super excited about that. Uh, but definitely, I am much more rather interested in the iOS 13, how they are doing the thing, especially the updates. We are super happy with that. Lagging. It might be lagging on your side because at my side, I'm in the Sheraton, which, uh, which is providing me uh, 100 Mbps of download and upload. So it's not lagging from my side. Android P or Flutter course in LCO for Android. Both are pretty good, pretty updated and support with the team as well. So I think you should try with the Flutter because it's much more easier to go through with that as of now. Not lagging, sir. At my side, it's completely smooth. 100 Mbps, good. Yeah, I am on 100 Mbps, which is pretty good speed. Uh, yeah, enjoying a bit there. Is Mac Air good? Mac Air is decent. Depends on what kind of programming stuff you really want to do. Uh, but I think MacBook Air is pretty lightweight machine. You definitely can find a lot there uh, onto the Windows side. But again, on the Windows side, you do have always performance issues. And uh, so, yeah. Any security course plan? Nope, no security course is planned. We wanted to do a, like, to be very honest, I want to do a course next, which is going to take a couple of months. I, I will have to, like... <laughs> not be recording any videos or anything in that, but I would love to make this next course. Okay, 100 Mbps, then Windows hold my beer. <laughs> yeah. When are you coming to India? Uh, it's a pretty bit long tour, so <laughs> no chance of coming back to India 
quickly? Yeah, definitely I'll be there soon because uh, we have a lot of plans to do. I want to utilize the resources that I'm getting there at my office. A lot of bootcamp students, uh, we can utilize them and provide more resources, so I will be doing that. Do you know what's Pat Say Headshot? I have no idea what is Pat Say Headshot, what that is. I don't know. <laughs> I understood Redux because of you. Thanks for amazing courses. Thank you so much, Devansh. I'm really happy that you were able to get something uh, from my courses. Have you seen Tanya Pratap channel? No, I, I forgot that. I'll do that after this live. I actually forgot to check that. Where is iced tea? Uh, no iced tea <laughs> because uh, I just had my breakfast. Uh, it's super early. Dynamo said, who is Dynamo? I have no idea. <laughs> Pretty, um, looked like I'm updated from the recent YouTube stuff. Uh, I have no idea what that is. Do you like coffee? I like mochaccino. Uh, it's pretty good, so. Dynamo is a gaming channel. Okay, that's a gaming channel. I don't watch much of the gaming channels. Which number should I pay? Is math required for AI? Uh, it depends, it depends. If you really want to be on the usage side of the machine learning, that means you want to use some of the pre-built stuff, then you don't need it much. But if you want to really want to build your own models, which is pretty rare, then obviously you need a ton of maths. But it, it all depends. Like, uh, for example, if you want to just, let's just say, uh, build up your own database, uh, like you have to write your own drivers for MySQL or something like that, then you need a ton of knowledge about OS and how the interactivity, file savage, and all of that. But if you just want to use MySQL, then you don't need much of that. You just want to use it. So yeah, uh, exactly same goes for machine learning. You do need math if you want to go like, want to do PhD or something in the machine learning and want to build up your own models and stuff, then definitely a lot of math. But in case you just want to be on the usage side, you want to build apps, you want to build uh, web applications for that, then you don't need it much. Okay, coming back onto the iMac side, uh, we got deviated there. So, would you like to have an iMac is the big question right now. Would you love to have it, the Mac Pro? But again, it's $6,000, $6,000. Can you imagine how many trips all over the globe you can make in that 6,000? <laughs> Mac Pro giveaways, as a price, any plan? No, not as of now, my channel is not that big. Uh, if probably I have like five, six million, I will give away uh, a MacBook Pro. Uh, I'm not pretty sure when we'll be reaching five, six millions. But again, programming is a very small and very amazing community. I'm happy with what the community I have. I can come out and I can talk. I'm pretty happy with it. Whatever I have, I'm super happy with it. It's growing, it's easy, so yeah. I think it would not be an easy decision, definitely. Please wear that glasses, you will look smart. Uh, I have my glasses just right here. <laughs> uh, how you see Kotlin versus Java? I don't see them much as a difference. They both are pretty similar, pretty easy. Make a Croatia vlog. I'm not making any vlogs, I'm just posting stories on Instagram, so if you are interested, I'm posting tons of stories on Instagram, you definitely can check them out. I'm posting only a one or two. Uh, on YouTube, I'm not pretty sure that I should be posting it down. But yeah, I am posting a lot of stories on Instagram, so you should check it out, definitely. Very expensive, around 4.15 lakh rupees, sorry sir. Yes, of course, it's very, very expensive. But the question arises is, is it the machine that a programmer needs or not? And I think it boils down to, no, no, programmers don't need that kind of heavy duty machine. The max that you're gonna do is probably fire up an Android studio. <laughs> That's very power hungry and consuming. And fire up a few hundred tabs, not 100, like 50, 60 tabs in Chrome. That is not still the thing that you really want to do with that machine. It would be really, really an overkill machine that you will never be using. So if you have money, uh, probably invest in traveling or maybe start a business or something. Uh, yeah. Have you ever played PUBG Mobile? Yes, I have played exactly and exactly one time. <laughs> That's it. I didn't got much interested in that. It's pretty addictive. 
tips for competitive programming. Not just tips, my dear friend, not just tips. I am planning something to do full-fledged for this competitive programming thing. Provide you a full ultimate resource that can help you to completely understand and walk through uh, with this create with this competitive programming stuff. So a complete Flutter tutorial is expecting on your YouTube channel. No, please don't expect that because we do have a separate course on Flutter, uh, which is backed by our team, which helps you whenever you get stuck. They help you to just get out of it and all of this stuff. So please don't expect a full-fledged course on YouTube. It's on learncodeonline.in. So if you want to check it out, we're not charging like pretty much lakhs of rupees for that like Apple. We're just charging like 700, 800 or something like that. So pretty affordable, pretty affordable. If you can afford a mobile phone to watch this live, you definitely can afford all of our courses. <laughs> uh, when you were born, I'm pretty old. Not that much old, but yeah. <laughs> Please show us surrounding near your cafe. Uh, this is, uh, you want to see? Uh, that's a piano. I played it a little bit, not much. And uh, behind me is a nice cafe, and this side is the street view. So that's pretty much it. Flutter or Java? I think as of now, you definitely can try your hands on Flutter, but ultimately you won't be finding much of the jobs uh, still, because still uh, big companies are still thinking about adopting Flutter or not. So definitely Java is the case to go around still. Thanks for showing. Uh, thank you. Where are you now? I am in Croatia. At the capital of Croatia is Zagreb. And I'm in Zagreb, in the hotel actually right now. Uh, what about Google Collab? Uh, no, I don't have any plan for that right now. <laughs> what do you think about Huawei? I definitely want to make a longer video on Huawei, what I think about it, what's going to be the impact, and all of this. Probably I should do more of these live uh, instead of just throwing up a video one-way conversation. Okay. <laughs> Any lady in life? Uh, probably a personal question. Piche <laughs> Deko. Oh, I just saw that Pakistani guy video, this cute little kid. So good, so good. <laughs> Collab with Amazon, Google, Facebook employees. Um, they're not very friendly for the YouTube. I do have a couple of friends in all of these companies, but you know they are not so much friendly on camera and YouTube stuff because they are worried if they'll say anything, anything at wrong, then it can be dangerous for their job. So that's why they don't show up. They say whatever you want to talk, you can talk off camera. What is Microsoft Azure certification? Uh, I think you should try AWS instead of the Azure. Uh, surely Azure is good, uh, but I think you should try on AWS. So yeah. About your marriage, why why Indian people are so much concerned about the marriage? Older, younger ones, the same age. Everybody is just concerned about marriage. There is so much in life to do other than marriage. <laughs> the life is so big so much to explore, so much to travel, so much to do in life. Surely marriage is a part of it, but it's not about just everything. <laughs> Want to become a person like you? How did you choose your career? I didn't choose actually my career. It just keeps on happening. I don't question it much. I just show up my best and that's what I do. Okay, so like the video everyone yeah surely if you're here just hit that like button it would be really awesome and amazing one class give to us in hindi language for that you need to come to the boot camp i talk all in hindi in the boot camp <laughs> so you know uh, this live stream is watched by a lot of people who are from tamil background from canadians they will not be able to understand it and what's the point if we are just Putting up a language out is not being understood by everyone, so, yeah. We should not be much bothered about language and stuff. We should rather be more about what we can actually do for the community, how we can just find more stuff and give more to community. That's all about. This is a diversion being created by politicians. Love you from Kashmir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. 
Okay, so how to not get into tutorial purgatory? Uh, I think it's not much of a purgatory. Uh, until unless you make something a project of your own, you will be keep on stucking into that. And all of my courses, I talk about a lot of these uh, projects and stuff. So yeah, Ankit Sharma, I met you TEDx at TEDx Vadodara. Hi, Ankit, how are you? It was a nice uh, experience at TEDx Vadodara. Uh, nice photographer, thank you so much. Hey, in case you haven't checked out my photos, I have posted a few photos, not all of them, a few photos at my Instagram. They are pretty dope, so you really might want to check them out. Uh, your favorite bike? Um, bike or bicycle? Uh, for the bike, it's definitely Davidson. I'm a big fan of Harley Davidson. I do own one, so yeah. <laughs> Aditya Singh, Bangalore. Yes, my dear friend, Bangalore is always the amazing, great city. So, in case you are here, make sure you hit that like button as well. So, yeah. Okay, so, give to us a project of web design. Uh, we will be doing that very soon. I have so many plans that I'm writing them down as I travel. And once I reach to India, I want to execute all of them. That includes uh, comments going too fast. Uh, not that fast. It's pretty manageable now. So, I have so many plans that I want to execute. I'm writing all of them. Uh, in my to-do list, not writing actually, recording all of them. And I want to execute them and they are so good plans. One is for this competitive programming, another is for data structure and algorithm and another one is for giveaways and competitions on YouTube. So yeah, oh, there's a super chat question. Please don't do that right now. Uh, okay, let's take this question. Hi, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm able to train models in ML TensorFlow even without much knowledge in Python. I'm Android developer. Should I be learning Python? Uh, Navneet, I think you don't need to learn Python. If you are able to just uh, do your stuff, you are building, able to build up models in TensorFlow, because you are more over on the usage part, not on the building of models part. You are able to do even the building part of models, so I think that's good enough. Python is definitely getting hot, but it's not that everybody should be learning it. If you need it, then you learn it. Otherwise, you don't need it then why to invest more time? In, instead, you are already an Android developer, you are already building TensorFlow, so rather go deep into the TensorFlow or Keras, 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 however you say that. <laughs> so go into that, that would be much more beneficial for you. So I would say, no, nope, you don't need it. Should I learn Django, by the way? Are you using free Wi-Fi? Yes, I am using the free Wi-Fi of hotel, 100 Mbps, pretty good, and Django, yes, of course, you should learn it. It's pretty good stuff, dope stuff. You should try LearnCodeOnline.in to learn Django. We have pretty good courses. I am just 19 years old. Can I start my own startup? Uh, once you have stated this, your age before asking the question, that means I'm not interested in that question because I don't believe that you should state your age that I am 19 or I am 45. It shows that you're not much into the matureness of the things. I know it's harsh. It's harsh. It feels really bad, but you should not state your age, you should state your work first, that what you are able to do, what's your plan, what you have achieved, what projects you have made, that should be the first line. Not that I'm 19 or I'm 15 or I'm 45. No, that is not something you should be doing. Again, personal thought could be harsh. Some may like it, some may not like it. So you should, the question should be something, hey, I have created 12 projects, should I be starting up my own startup? Or I have learned this many programming languages, should I be doing my startup? So, yeah. <laughs> is your resident near this cafe? It is Sheraton Cafe and this is my resident, temporary, but this is my resident. Do you want to buy Mac Pro? I really want to, I really want to. One side of the mind says, you should go for it, go for it, go for the new Mac Pro. On the other side, I say, what I'll be doing with that $6,000 machine? I don't need it that much. I definitely would love to. Uh, the temptation is good. So, yeah. This 19 guy. <laughs> He's a kid right now. He needs more good advice to go for that. Some people just take these advice as very harsh that, hey, he said so harsh to me, he's a bad guy. But I think you should take them as a good advice that somebody is offering you for free and uh, take them in your life. You would be much more happier. 
Are you at Vienna? I was in Vienna a couple of days ago. It was a beautiful place. Uh, now I am in Zagreb. And I'll be leaving Zagreb today. It's, it's a long trip for a lot of countries. <laughs> uh, any news regarding the paid internship? Uh, yes, of course. We definitely need a couple of interns. But I'll be hiring them once I reach to India. Definitely, 100% I'll be hiring paid interns. Uh, it's going to be a little bit, and it's going to be remote internship. So you don't need to come to our office and anything. You just, we just need your time uh, that you can provide to us while sitting at a comfort of your couch. Uh, so we'll be doing that very, very soon. And definitely it's going to be a paid internship. You will be paid for your time. And the whole thing is that right now we are on the top of the questions. All questions are being answered at Learn Code Online. But we want to do it more. We want to provide answers to your questions. Whenever you are stuck in a course, I want to provide faster feedback. So I want to do it like one team will be handling the questions in the early morning time. One team will be handling them at the night time so that you get your faster questions. We check the question two times a day. So all the people who are working in the night get their answers early in the morning. All those people who are learning in the daytime get their answers in the evening time. So it would be a fast thing. So that's why I want to increase my team that can provide more support to the community that we have built up at Learn Code Online. It's a pretty big community, bigger than what we are having at YouTube. So <laughs> definitely want to do more for that. Uh, I'm waiting for your internship. Thank you so much. And yes, of course, when you answer the questions, that's like the ultimate debugging skill that you get, because it's not easy to debug these problems that the student, student fails. Review system in LCO. No, we are not going to be having a review system in LCO because we know what courses we are producing. So, your voice is so bold. Bold means pretty heavy. Uh, yes, when I travel to these countries, sometimes my voice becomes a little bit heavy. So, I was, as I was saying, uh, that yes, uh, the review system are not going to be coming up anytime soon in LCO because we know what courses we are producing and uh, the Instagram everything says it out loud that yes these courses are able to produce so much good the reviews are for marketplace where we are hiring third-party instructors who are uploading their courses then the review system is actually good and makes sense because in that you are able to see what instructor is teaching good or not and here all the courses are taught by me so that means if you don't like me you should not be taking the course as simple as it sounds so there's no need of reviews uh, I'm not saying that everybody should like me or everybody should get in sync with what I teach. Good morning, sir. How is your tour? Hey, Samprit, how is it going on? I hope you are all packed, all ready to come to Jaipur. Uh, we have so much things to do. And finally, I'm curating a very, very good team. I'm super happy. So welcome on board, Samprit. Samprit is going to be our new team member who will be helping us to build more amazing stuff. Uh, so let's see how the things goes on. It's going to go pretty good, pretty good. I'm pretty sure of it. Sir, kabhi koi girlfriend thi aapki? <laughs> let's not go. Uh, super support in LCO. Uh, yes, we want to go for more support, more answer to the questions. Okay, how much it will cost if I want to visit Vietnam? It depends where you want to stay. Yes, sir, totally excited for the day after tomorrow. Welcome on board, Samprit. Welcome. And yes, it all depends on how much you really want to do in Vietnam. It can be as cheap as like uh, 15 to 20,000 rupees, Indian rupees. And it can be as expensive as 1 lakh rupees too. Do you really want to do the cruise? Then it's definitely going to be a little bit expensive. Do you really want to go into the shooting range to shoot some guns? Maybe M16 or something? More money. Do you want to travel with public transport or a private car? It all boils down to that. So it can be as cheap as uh, WWDC Swift UI. What is that? Uh, it's kind of a pre-built stuff that they are providing. I will definitely talk about that. Yes, don't need of reviews in LCO. Yes, of course, that's exactly what I'm saying. If it would be a marketplace, then definitely it would be a review game. But right now, we don't need a review. <laughs> if you like me, go ahead. Go for the courses. If you don't like me, please don't buy them because if you don't like me you will not like the courses as well so <laughs> where are you from India I am from the beautiful city known as pink city Jaipur from India 
I hold in passport. I even vote for India, so <laughs> yeah. Please share LCO link. It's learncodeonline.in. As simple as it sounds. So, <laughs> okay, so C++ course in LCO. Uh, whenever I'll get a month free, uh, because right now the schedule is packed, then I'll definitely. DS and algorithm course. Yep, we are planning for that, but it requires a hell lot of effort. We'll do that. We'll do that. We are not afraid of putting up efforts or putting up hard work. We are definitely not afraid of that. We can do that. Okay, so it's getting pretty crowdy here. <laughs> Machine learning course in LCO. It's already available. It's already available. Okay, so, so to learn Django, which language should I learn before buying the course? Uh, you should get started with Python first, and then after the Python, uh, Django comes in. It's a pretty detailed course. It, con it consists of like seven or eight projects as well. Uh, the team provides support as well. So it's a pretty detailed course. You should definitely try that out. Okay, so the courses and the YouTube videos are completely different. Learn code online dot in. There we go. Uh, Besab Sarkar's posted a link. Okay. Sir, can you come in summer boot camp of the last phase in June? Yes, of course I'll be there. For sure I'll be there. Uh, and I'll be giving you some of the assignments as well. <laughs> I will be there. I will be there. Don't worry. Okay, so, sir, how I work hard like you. Just keep checking your bank balance and you'll be working much more harder than this. After C programming in LCO then, uh, you can go for Java. Uh, and can move into Android stuff, or you can go for the free JavaScript course and can move into tons of courses that we have. Aditya yeah, is supporting better support. The guy is working really good. Aditya is our superstar. <laughs> he is a rocking guy. Uh, Aditya is one of the... And uh, in case some of you don't know, we have already uh, crafted the next update for the Audio Duo app. Hopefully, like within a few couple of weeks, we will be providing the second version of the audio do. Gray, gray around. Yes, of course, it's always gray. Uh, so we'll be providing you an update of audio do app. We have introduced a couple of things like a priority feature, some of the graphs. It's pretty good. Make another Hindi channel. If I'll be making another channel, I'll think that should I make a channel on Hindi? Or should I make a channel that goes live every time? Like, that would be a dope idea if I make a channel that goes live, just live, nothing else. Surely in the starting days, until we reach the live benchmark, like YouTube doesn't roll out your live feature immediately. Uh, whenever the channel video goes out, we just talk live. Ah, that would be a pretty dope thing. Ah. Let me know in the comment section, would you like to have a separate channel where we just keep on going live? Whenever we just talk or make a video, it's going to be always live. It's going to be always live. So let me know. Uh, yes, no, yes, of course. Yeah, so that would be pretty cool. Definitely I will upgrade my setup to go live because I will be not going live through this crappy phone quality. I would love to go live from a DSLR. Yeah, so I think that can be a pretty dope idea, a separate channel where I just talk about things, uh, not just programming, surely uh, it's going to be closely related to the tech, but more about travel, whatever I think about the things, I will think out them live. Sir, I made a clone of Spotify app, oh that's awesome, that is so awesome. So yeah, that would be pretty awesome if I just create another channel and whatever I think, I just the raw videos, just live, talking to you. That can be pretty dope. That can be pretty dope. Audio do app is similar to Redmi mobile note app. I haven't actually seen that. I don't own any Redmi devices. Uh, but definitely, uh, we are going to be rolling out an update within a couple of weeks. We already got a prototype of that. Uh, we'll be just crafting a few issues here and there. And then we'll be rolling out the next update. And surely we'll be keep on working with that, uh, the new interns that come up. Do you want to be a billionaire? I don't mind it if somebody gives me a billion dollar, but you know, what will I do with that kind of money? 
probably will donate for some cause, maybe cancer or cancer research or maybe clean water. I don't need that kind of a money. I can make my own money through my hard work. So, yeah. My custom PC cost lots lesser than a new Pro display. It might, but the quality, the operating system that they are giving you is nowhere near what you are having in your built-up. I'm not saying it's, it's bad that you have your own customized setup. It's good. But Apple is not just about having a 6 gigs of RAM or 12 gigs of RAM. It's more about how optimized their system are, how reliable their hardware is, how the performance is. It's more about that. I always, you might have seen a lot of programmers. In fact, whenever you see any programmer working or anything, they prefer Mac. It's not just they like to show off the Apple logo. It's because the reliability of that machine. It's about the ease of when you install anything. It's more close to the Linux as compared to the Windows. So that's why most programmers prefer to use a, a Mac over a PC. Uh, nice glares. Kiski choice. Okay. Oh, that's Bongo. Hey, Bongo. <laughs> Give credit. No credit to Bongo. Bongo never gets any credit. <laughs> any suggestion for the courses support? Uh, no, we are doing pretty good, Yesh. Uh, I'm happy with the support that we are able to provide so far. So yeah, it's going pretty good. Uh, and for the rest of the stuff, I'm giving you personal updates on your <laughs> WhatsApp. So, are you in Croatia? Yes, I am in Croatia. So, I have made a reminder app and news app. Both are used Firebase. Where the next? Uh, maybe something that uses more rock solid database than the Firebase. Firebase is expensive. It's rock solid, definitely, but it's very expensive. So, maybe you want to go for AWS or MySQL side. Yeah. Oh, I thought you are really a bit upset with me. No, not at all. I just keep on providing the updates and keep on everybody on the loop so that, uh, you know, things keeps on going on the same pace that I want it to be. So, yeah, I'm not upset with you or anybody, as a matter of fact. I'm just super happy. I just keep on in the loop and I just keep on monitoring the stuff so that... Do you believe in God? Yes, of course. Uh, very much, very much. And, uh, yeah. When you travel around so much in the world, uh, I'm super blessed by God, so, yeah. What do you do? Uh, I travel from YouTube money. <laughs> uh, that would be fun. I would love to. If I would be a vlogger, I would have definitely clickbaited here, traveling the world from YouTube money. I would have. No shame in that. <laughs> uh, so, do you like cricket? Uh, I used to love cricket, but after the retirement of Sachin, I haven't watched a full game. Uh, I have watched a bits and pieces, few overs, but not a full game after that. My cricket got started with Sachin, got ended with Sachin. Yeah, what more I can say? I loved it. Whenever I played with that and all that. Okay, not for me. Do you play Clash of Clans? Nope. $1,000 monitor stand is nice optimized. <laughs> that is definitely way overpriced and underutilized. Do you love Virat? Okay. He is a nice dude. I don't watch his game. I don't watch cricket. So saying that I like it or not like it is not something that I should be saying. I haven't watched him playing that much. So what can I say? Boot camp or college degree? Both. Don't drop out from college. Who is behind you? A lot of people. <laughs> a lot of people. Just ignore them. So, yeah. Yep. So which is better, React Native or Flutter? As of now, I recommend React Native. So, so you are looking like a model. No, I'm not a model. <laughs> so. Yeah, this is better. What is the meaning of life? The meaning of life is just keep on working and achieve as much as you can. Because life is full of uncertainties. I should definitely make a new channel to talk about that. 
CSC degree worth it? Yes, absolutely. I know a lot of people say otherwise, but I think degrees are still important. Uh, when you go on to like big shot companies, big shots, they ask for a degree. They say it out loud. Proof of success, travel by YouTube money. <laughs> uh, YouTube doesn't pay you that much to, to just get a how to crack fang. <laughs> YouTube buddy. So everybody is excited because YouTube seems to be very easy stuff. Just make videos on anything. Just talk about phones or talk about WWDC or anything and just make money. No, it's not that easy. And of course, YouTube doesn't pay you that much. From where can I do AWS certification? There's so many online communities, so many online courses. Surely, uh, Depends on which city you, are, you live in, probably Delhi, Bangalore, Pune, these are easy one to get a certification, but definitely. If you want to try your hand on AWS, that's absolutely worth it, don't hesitate, go for it. Do you have a degree of big university? I don't know what to call big, but I do have degrees, a couple of them. <laughs> I have a degree already, but near the line of death, lol. I don't know if that was pun intended. <laughs> JavaScript alone or with HTML and CS? See, Jayanth, here are my thoughts. Anybody who calls himself even a bit of programmer or even a little bit associated with uh, any kind of programming, app development or anything, HTML and CSS is a must-have knowledge. You cannot skip that. It's, it feels really, really odd when you say that, I don't know HTML and CSS. Surely you might not be a professional in that, but a basic knowledge of these tags and building up, it doesn't take much. You can just learn HTML, CSS and building up a few websites and editing a few templates in just a month. It doesn't take much. But saying that, I don't know HTML and CSS, even HTML, CSS, it sounds pretty awkward. So don't do that. Spend some time and learn HTML and CSS, at least basics of it, so yeah. Have you ever prepared for a government job? Honestly, never. Not even for one hour. I have never prepared for it because I don't want to go into it. If I want to go and crack down a government job, I would definitely have got 100% into that. Don't want to do it. I don't do things halfway. Even if I'll do it, I'll do it full fledgedly with full dedication or I'll just drop it. So I <laughs> never tried for the government job. I wanted to always have my own thing and um, after a lot of failures, now I'm seeing a little bit of success. Oh, there's something bad really happened in the Sudan. I hope you are aware of it. So apart from tech, <laughs> other updates are also necessary. So hi, Taish, hi, bro. Time difference there? Yes, it's a four and a half hour difference. I am earlier four, four and a half hours, something like that. And I guess it will increase uh, after I'll switch country today. I will be switching country, another country today. <laughs> Future of Node, it's rock solid, going nowhere, so yeah. So how are we traveling so many countries so fast? Uh, countries in Europe, especially in the eastern side, are very, very small. Like, it's almost like going to Gurgaon, to Noida, to... Uh, Punjab to Haryana, it's almost like that, it's that small. They are hiding in the name of country, but they are much more even smaller than some of our states. So they are pretty small countries. Is data structure and algorithm important for web developer? It's important for everyone. Future of jQuery. I think I'm seeing a downfall in the jQuery a little bit, not much, but yeah. How can I join you as an intern? I'm a React developer. Uh, we'll be posting up update uh, for the paid interns uh, very, very soon, once I reach India, once I finish up this tour. Are we a solo traveler? Yes, of course, I am a solo traveler. I love traveling solo. James Bond versus Tim Cru Tom Cruise. It depends what kind of James Bond you are talking about. Are you talking about Pierce Brosnan? If yes, yes, that's, that's the guy I love to watch as a James Bond. The recent James Bond, I didn't like it much. Pierce Brosnan was the best one, best Bond ever. And of course, if I'm not talking about Pierce Brosnan, then for any other bond, I'll pick up Tom Cruise. Yeah. Stipend internship at LCO. 
Uh, it depends on how much time you can give to us, how much skilled you are, and of course, it's an internship, not a full-time job. We have a lot of uh, people looking out for it, so it's not going to be like something like thousand rupees or something. Not like that. Not that bad. Uh, we only sell courses for that bad. Anyways, it's going to be good. Here's iced tea for you. Love from Mars. Okay, one. Sh uh, thank you so much for iced tea. Uh, really appreciate that. I am facing difficulty in transforming from React Native to Flutter. Uh, yeah, you will be facing a bit and pieces here and there. Okay, it's getting too much crowded right now. Excited for offline bootcamp, sir. When you will reach Jaipur? Very soon. Lokesh, I'll be there very soon. Uh, the team is already there. We are working really, really nicely and in sync. I will be there very soon. <laughs> Once this extreme temperature goes down a little bit, I will be back in India. In my state, in Rajasthan, some, some part of that are reaching to 51 degrees, which is pretty hot. I want to stay here till it just cools down a little bit. Manish Daga says, hello, sir. Jaipur is waiting for you. Thank you so much. I even miss Jaipur. Uh, there's nothing, nothing in the world like your own country, like your own place. Yeah, it's getting a bit crowdy, so I think I should move on now. It's getting a bit crowdy. Boot camp in winter. We'll think about it. Winter is too far. <laughs> Life will end soon. Life has no certainty. It may end up tomorrow or today or maybe after a hundred years. So please visit Maharashtra. Uh, very soon. I'll be visiting that very soon. Uh, life with coding. Where are you, man? <laughs> I'm in Zagreb. In case you know, recently president visited the Croatia. I'm also visiting it. <laughs> uh, I know Python and Django is there. Any internship at LCO? LCO internship is going to be more for the variety people who love to get their hands in Node as well as Django, a couple of other places. So it's going to be an internship for people who can handle multiple courses. So that's what. How is Saksham, sir? He's rocking. He's managing everything at LCO, offline center. It's pretty good, pretty rocking. Total cost of traveling. I don't know. I haven't actually calculated yet. Do you have interest in politics? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, a little bit, but I know a lot of people will come up, hey, go for Congress, go for BJP. No, I don't have that much of interest. I do have an interest is what we can do or what politicians can actually do to improve the situation of the country. I do have interest in world politics as well, a little bit. Yeah, you eventually develop it. Okay, how can I, how can I apply at internship at LCO. We'll post that very soon. I'll make a separate video for that internship and all that stuff. Not right now, but once I reach to India, we need to execute a few plans. We'll be doing that very, very soon. And with Samprit, the new guy that we have hired recently, we have good plans that are going to be coming up and you'll be seeing them very soon. When are you getting married? I don't know. I don't know. Literally, I don't know. What is your monthly income? That is so harsh. That is so rude to ask anybody that, what is your monthly income? Ah, that is so rude. <laughs> I don't know how, why people do that. It is so rude to ask anybody. It's almost like asking any lady that, what's your age? It's exactly rude to ask any person, what's your monthly income? You should not ask that, buddy. That's not good. It's harsh, rude. What is satisfaction of life to you? Satisfaction of life is mostly Sundays uh, when uh, my idiot friend comes to my home. We just sit about, sit around, talks about nothing for hours. Like literally any piece of crap we talk about for hours at my studio. Uh, we call that as bachelor house. So that's, that's satisfaction. That's already a satisfaction. How much cost of living for LCO Bootcamp? Uh, the cost actually depends on how much you are able to do at the nearby hostels or anything. We actually recommend a couple of hostels. We don't have to do anything with that. We are not like in a tie-up or anything with that. They charge around like 7,000 or something for a month. And uh, if you can get a better deal anywhere, surely go for that. 
we are not associated or have any association with the staying part of that. We only provide course for that. And uh, the best we can do is we provide best courses at affordable place. Uh, but again, we cannot do much about the staying part. We definitely have recommendations, but feel free to just look out on your own if you can get a better deal or a cheaper one. So go for that. I always recommend that. Okay. What if I'll be sitting beside you? It would be lovely. It would be lovely. Yeah, very soon. Uh, we, I have been talking to a couple of universities and all these stuff. So very soon we'll be starting traveling to these abroad universities. And of course, our interns, our full-time employees will be traveling to these countries as well very soon so that they can provide the education that we are providing in India as a boot camp can be provided to these countries as well. So yeah, we are talking to them. Yeah, Start a photography course. I'm really super happy that I am getting so much uh, of the appreciation in the photography. When first I got started, everybody just discouraged me. Hey, you should stop doing that. You don't know how to click. You don't know how to compose. You don't know how to frame it. Now it's all going good. So, yeah. And I have been recently invited as a hero member of Pixels because I've been uploading so many good photos there. Yeah. Do you love old songs or new ones or you don't listen to them as like me? I don't listen to them much, but whenever I listen, you can see some of my playlists that I listen regularly at the end of YouTube videos. <laughs> that goes pretty good. Please reply me. Okay, that's so much harsh smiley. Can I learn programming without going to university? Yes, you can, surely, but if you can afford going to a university, please go ahead and do that. I am not in a favor of dropouts and all these people. I think people should complete their degrees. I have only 500 views on Pixels. Uh, it will increase once you get started to get featured and all of that. So they have a, a kind of a module in which they feature the photographer if the photograph is good enough to be picked up by their editors. Once you get that, uh, you will get more than 500 views. I am having almost like 10 million views on on uh, Pixels and around 18 million on uh, Unsplash and I haven't checked for Pixabay. <laughs> I'm on to a variety of websites. So, Code Chef or anything else for competitive programming. We are building up a resource for that, so it's going to be coming up very soon. And by the way, yes, uh, these Code Chef and stuff are all good. They don't provide solution and everything in a challenging way, but it's good. It's good. Is your JavaScript course on YouTube good enough to learn React? Yes, of course, it's good enough. Okay. Uh, make a course on machine learning. It's already available at Learn Code Online. We have already got a course there. Okay. When are you getting married? <laughs> uh, hey, guys, make sure you hit that like button as well. Have you seen any Pakistani programmer or developer? I have been in touch with a couple of them. Like recently they shoot me a mail and uh, we talked a little bit. Not much of that. I'm not in much of touch of Pakistani people uh, for programming and stuff. Surely a lot of students do get an interaction, uh, but not much on that. Your TEDx talk was really good. University should take care of that point. <laughs> Vargas says, you're getting old, get married. No, I'm not getting old. I'm not getting old. <laughs> I'm still rocking the countries, uh, walking like a man. So. <laughs> hey, Vergis, I hope your things are sorted out with Razor Pay. I hope you're enjoying them as well as I am. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going pretty good. No, I'm not getting married anytime soon. Which broadband connection you use? I use Airtel at home. I don't know what they are using at Sheraton. TEDx, I am planning to go for one more TEDx talk once I finish up this travel that is going to be 30 under 30. Uh, not the Forbes 30 under 30, but about traveling 30 countries under 30. So I am planning for the talk. I definitely need to think about it. I definitely need to uh, write a script for it, prepare a presentation for it. So, yep, uh, that would be a pretty awesome talk about experiencing 30 countries under 30. Pretty dope, I must say. Uh, how's your trip going on? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, let me know how many countries you have traveled so far, if you have traveled, or how many states you have traveled so far. 
if you live in India, haven't got a chance to visit uh, anything out of India, how many states you have traveled? One country by Himanshu Agarwal. Okay. So, how many states you have traveled if you are in a country? And if you haven't even traveled even in one state, that's pretty bad. Veg or non-veg? I prefer vegetarian. Only one state that I live in. Ah, that's bad. Two state. Okay. Six state. Ah, that's awesome, Arpit. Ankit Patel says one country. Okay. Five. Okay. Seven states. Priyank, 181. Ah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Twelve countries top off. Ah, that's awesome. Twelve countries. You are a traveler, my friend. Gaurav Shah says 18 states. Oh, man. That is hell of a journey. 18 states so far. So, whether you travel to state or countries, it's equally that you really want to explore, you are into exploration. Uh, Omkar says, United States, oh, that's just one country. <laughs> 20 states, Sudhanshu, 69 states, do you live in India? <laughs> 69 states? <laughs> uh, like how are you doing that? Oh, you're looking smart and beard. I prefer always to have my beard on. I don't want to get a clean shift. Thousand dollars spent on traveling. But that's good. So I hope you haven't traveled that many countries in just thousand dollars. But yeah, if you're traveling, gym. Yes, I do have gym in these nice, lovely, shiny hotels. Yeah. Where's the link to buy? What do you want to buy? In case you want to buy the courses, it's learncodeonline.in. The courses tab is there. So, how to travel solo? Please give me more suggestion. I think you should get more suggestion about traveling solo from a very nice YouTube channel. I think it's a mountain trek, mountain tracker or something. There's an amazing guy who makes videos uh, traveling. I think he's right now in Canada or something. He makes so good videos, so good videos, all raw, no hype, no fancy stuff. So good, so raw videos. I love that. And there is another YouTube channel which recently got my eye is a Traveling Solo, no, Traveling Desi. So good videos, so good videos. Mountain Tracker, yeah, Mountain Tracker, who travels solo at low budget. Yeah, Mountain Tracker, I was talking about that guy. He's so good, so good. So raw, so awesomeness. So much of the traveling genes inside him. <laughs> but be aware, it can give you some of the infection of traveling, <laughs> like I can give you. <laughs> So even I like traveling videos. Uh, yeah, so that's awesome. Uh, a big fan of him like you. Yeah, I, I love that guy. I love that guy. And also you should try the traveling Desi and just give them a shout out. Hitesh sent me here. Hashtag Hitesh sent me here. He is a pretty good uh, creator. I love his audio quality. So good audio. So good audio. Much better than what I'm able to give right now. So yeah. Okay, so enough of the free time spent uh, with you, almost an hour. I didn't even got my time, attention there, yeah. Okay, so it was pretty good and uh, pretty fun. So that's it for now and I will be posting you more updates. So in case you haven't yet joined me up on my Instagram, I post tons of things there, pretty short videos like stories and a lot of photos. So go ahead, join me at Hitesh0141. By the way, 0141 is a symbol of Jaipur. So that's why I use that. I love Jepper. So that's it for uh, this live session. And bye-bye uh, for everyone. Why would you put this caption? Would you like to buy? I don't know. I just wanted to have talk about MacBook Pro. Then we deviated in this live chat. So that's why. I'm going to keep this as my title of the video. But anyways, uh, that's it for this video. And bye-bye. Uh,